Now these definitely need to be replaced, but let's get a technical reading. Welcome back to your home garage, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to measure and read a tire tread depth gauge. While coins can be used to estimate tread depth, using a calibrated tire tread depth gauge is a far more precise way of knowing how much tread you have left and when to start budgeting for a new set of tires. Tread depth gauges will primarily provide two units of measurement, imperial and metric. I'll focus on imperial, so inches, and specifically in 30 seconds of an inch, while countries using the metric system measure in millimeters. Using this handy little tool is easy when you follow these steps. Start by pushing the tread depth gauge against the flat surface, fully inserting the measuring pin into the barrel as far as it will go, ensuring that the gauge reads 0 30 seconds to make sure that it zeroes out. Place the measuring pin into the center of a main tread groove and push down on the gauge until the base makes firm contact with the tread on either side of the gauge. Carefully remove the gauge by holding its barrel without touching the measuring pin and confirm the tread depth gauge reading. Repeat these steps about two more times and ideally about 15 inches apart from each other. Now average all the readings. Identify the remaining percentage of tire wear by comparing the tire's original new tread depth in its specs to the remaining tread depth as measured. Be aware that incorrect air pressure, vehicle misalignment, loose or worn suspension parts, driving conditions, load, etc. can cause rapid or uneven tire wear. An accurate tread depth gauge can detect developing wear patterns earlier than simply looking at the tread. This often allows the cause to be identified and corrected before excessive or irregular tread wear ruins the tire. You could also use a coin if you don't have a gauge handy. Now Canada did away with the penny in 2013, however, the top of Lincoln's head to the edge of the penny measures about 230 seconds. The top of Washington's head to the edge of the quarter measures about 430 seconds. The steps of Lincoln's memorial to the edge of the penny measures about 630 seconds. Now every performance, light truck, or medium commercial tire comes equipped with wear indicators or indicator bars embedded between the tread ribs at 230 seconds. They're there to help you monitor tread depth and make decisions about tire replacement. Just look to see if the tread is flush with the indicator bars. So what does all of this really mean? Basically, your decision becomes better when you know how to read tire tread depth. While regions may require tire tread depth to be a minimum of 230 seconds, most technicians would recommend tire replacement around 430 seconds, especially in areas of heavy precipitation. Also, if the outer tread grooves are deeper than the center groove, this would indicate that your tires are overinflated. And the opposite to that is if the center grooves are deeper than the outer grooves, this would indicate that your tires are underinflated. If the inboard tread grooves are deeper or shallower than the outboard tread grooves, this could indicate a suspension or alignment problem. A good general rule of thumb to follow when it comes to tread depth is as follows. At 630 seconds, your tire's tread depth is sufficient for three seasons, but nearing the minimum for a winter tire. At 5.30 seconds, if wet roads are a concern of yours, consider replacing your tires. Between 3 and 4.30 seconds, seriously consider replacing your tires as soon as possible. If it's a winter tire, 4.30 seconds 
is the minimum. At 2.30 seconds, your tires are basically bald and just need to be replaced. There you have it, the basic fundamentals on how a tire depth gauge will assist you in your safety and driving. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend. Also, please comment below as I reply to all. Plus, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Your Home Garage.